come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Hey. We're a movie review podcast. We come at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, or wherever fine podcasts are found. Uh, Hey, while you're there, why don't you give us a thumbs up, a star rating, or a like. Give us a review on iTunes. We'll read them on the air, and they also help us get- Can they give us one of these? Is that, is that Sean's a doing the the I hand gesture from this movie we're about to talk about? It it's makes like, my hand hurt. It's great. It's, Sean, it's like great material for an audio it's podcast. Kind of right. like, it's, yeah. like, it's like the hang ten, but with a little pointer finger. With a, but with Just a, a little, bent, bent a little pointer knuckle. Finger. Yeah. A little knuckle. It's hang ten with a knuckle. Is what it is. It's a signature move. Well, I suppose first of all we should introduce ourselves. So, ladies and gentlemen. These are the internet radio superstars. Holly. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> that was my Colin. best Zeus. There you go. Right. Yeah. You do a better Zeus than I do. We should Sorry. all just growl into the microphone. <laughs> and that's what I was trying to do. For what they did. It was, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a very, very that's manly movie. Half really this was. movie. Like, Animalistic, yeah. What did we watch? Oh, wait. Who picked the movie? Uh, Michaela picked this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, what did we watch tonight? No Holds Barred from 1989. And directed by? Uh, uh, do we know? Thomas J. Wright. Relevant? Who the fuck is that? Any TV show you've watched in the past 20 years, he's directed at least three episodes. Okay. Of there you go. Like, literally, he's got it's, like over 100 TV most of, credits. Were most so. of them on USA? I feel like they would be. Uh, it, it literally was every network. Like, right. I was surprised yeah. at some of the stuff Any network the WWE yeah. went to, he probably directed <laughs> yeah. something. It was. I think it was just like, we need someone, doesn't matter who it is. Why yeah. is that always the thing? When they make movies like this, it's TV for the rest of their why do you yeah. Because they Sean? made movies like, like this. this. Just exactly. like, we can't, you answered we can't your own trust question. you. Yeah, we can't trust you with <laughs> yeah. another movie. Yeah. yeah. TV you get 30 your... minutes and that's it. Yeah. Did he ever do another movie? Uh, I don't think so. He did a couple before this, but like nothing I'd ever heard of. Okay. So, and then it was TV for 20, 25 years. But it was like major TV shows. Like, li- like I said, literally anything that's been on TV in past 20 Hogan knows best. Yeah, We're like saying anything. like network Oh, TV. network stuff, yeah. Sure. Like, Not like really... premium cable stuff. No, okay. mostly network stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make a yeah, distinction. He didn't it's sneak his way into Game of Thrones. No, it's it's a, yeah. episode, yeah. yeah. Okay, so No Holds Barred is a movie that introduces us to the world of the World Wrestling Federation. Are you going to ask me who this movie was written by? Who was this movie written by? Would you believe if I told you? <laughs> Am I going to recognize his name? Let's see. If I told you that Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon spent seventy-two hours in a Miami hotel room writing the script, and then and my, not sleeping, and I would not believe it. it. I would absolutely believe that. <laughs> That's yes, how this movie was written. It. Yes. Well, who's credited? Uh, is technically, it a uh, Dennis Hacken is credited, who wrote the first draft. They did not like it. They took his draft, and in that seventy-two hours, this rewrote that movie. Feels like Vince McMahon. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Everything oh, I know yeah. about Vince McMahon, I feel like this yes. is Can you Im- a, 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 a solidification of all of his uh, beliefs, values, loves in life. I yeah. feel like it all. How came do you know this much about? I, I've I watched I watch a lot of wrestling. If you you know if you grew up in the '90s watching wrestling, you know Vince McMahon. I grew up in the. Oh, 90s I know who he wrestling. is, but I mean his oh, no. his beliefs. I've read, yes. no, but I've I've yes. read the books. Oh I've, shit! I, I've listened to podcasts where they continually talk about Vince McMahon. Wait, and, wait. Are we saying that Sean in this group is the wrestling expert that we're going to rely on him? I just the- know it's not me. <laughs> That's all I, I know. Say, if only by process of elimination, yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I'm the one you have to go to. Well, I like the way during the movie we'll you were calling out the name. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, I'm not going to claim it. I mean, I just I'm just like, oh sure. Well, you were calling out the names of all the uh, wrestling moves that they were using, which uh, yeah, it's lost on me. Yeah, this movie comes from that other genre. There's like comedy, which is a big blind spot to me, and the other genre yep. is the sports film. This, this, I don't know if this you can call a this a sports film. Sport. This what are you talking about? Film. How many times in this movie did they say, and the greatest sporting event of all time? That's, that's the that coke talking. That's, that is yeah. the coke that wrote yeah. this movie. Yeah, that's there's a saying, lot like, of cocaine in this 72 movie. hours in like a Florida hotel room writing this. Okay, who do you think was typing? <laughs> if those two were in a hotel Vince. room together. I don't think, no, they, or do you feels, think it's longhand on legal pad? 
I can't imagine either or, of them typing. They're the biggest <laughs> names in the hotel room, but there's also assistants. And there's got to be someone who's just together. like, oh, God, <laughs> God damn it, take this down. <laughs> That's my Vince McMahon impression. But like, so they were just sitting accurate. on the bed doing a bunch of coke, telling, dictating it to someone. Yeah. For, oh, for this three, would happen. They claim they did not sleep. And they stayed up for three days straight. Oh, that's right what in this cocaine movie. does. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I'm Cocaine's saying. Cocaine's a whole drug. Coke. Cocaine eighties. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so Hulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen, needs no introduction. I assume mm-hmm. the guy who won the lawsuit against Gawker. Yeah, that's how we all know. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he banged Bubba the Love Sponge's <laughs> wife on tape. His <laughs> wife, <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh no! Have, have you guys seen that video? No. Okay, I've seen uh, it. Wait. You've seen it? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Okay, maybe. I've, I've seen parts of it. Because there's a very famous part where, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, please there's a part where he's banging, right? And he, like, stops for a second. And he says something about, like, how he ate bad pork. And he's like, oh, I shouldn't eat that pork. And, like, it's, like, upsetting his stomach. Like, that's <laughs> why I know. Are, are there memes about this? Oh, yeah, I'm sure there is. I'm sure bad Shut pork. up. Yeah. Oh but, my but god! But he won, yeah, like millions of dollars. In yeah, that he shut down lawsuit. Gawker. Yeah. I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All over that sex tape. Wow. What uh, was this? His first motion picture role. Uh, I don't know the chronology of um, well, Suburban gonna, Commando. We should, is we should after know. This, so I'm going to find out. <laughs> and yeah. I think Mr. Nanny's after this too. So this might be the first movie. It feels Mr. like Nanny's if like my memory is right, this one's the first mm-hmm. one, and then the other ones came mm-hmm. afterwards. So I was thinking. And when, of, when you said yeah. this, I thought David Arquette was in it, but he's in a movie called Beyond the Mat. Ready to Rumble. Ready to Come Rumble. On, man. Beyond the Mat's the documentary mm-hmm. yes. with uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. And, yes. Okay, Ready man, to Rumble is a, a goddamn classic. Ready to Rumble. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put that on my list now. Ro- Ro- Rocky so 3 intrigued, was actually his first movie. I was going to say, right. say, when was Rocky 3? Rocky 3 was his yeah. first movie, and then blah, 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 blah. And then No Holds Barred, and then, and then Mr. Well, Nanny. A lot Rocky 3 is 83, stuff. and this is three years later. So mm-hmm. the well, Hulkamania happened in oh, the, yeah, the meantime. This was six years. Later. He was on yeah, the yeah, love. Oh, he was on the love yeah. boat. He was on the A team. Uh, as Hulk Hogan or uh, yeah. Terry? No, Balea. as Hulk Hogan. No, he okay. didn't become Terry Bollea until like the two thousands, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hogan okay. knows best. His yeah, reality uh, show. Yeah, yeah. A lot of WWE videos. Hulkamania two. Oh, Hulkamania. The mm. Ken Patera story. You are furiously scrolling over there. That's a lot yeah. of shit. Because he did a lot. Because yeah. there was they like oh, home, home, home video release yeah. for them was like a huge yeah. like, thing. Yeah. That was a and shit so there's ton, tons yeah. of home video releases. Oh, I remember before. one of the Hulkamania. No Holds Barred is the next actual movie. So Rocky three, then No Holds Barred. Right. Yeah. Okay. Then what? I'm gonna say Mr. Your nanny is next. Dun, 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 dun. So oh, many videos. God, Holy movie. shit. He was the biggest thing in the world. In anything. Yeah. 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 He was pretty huge. Suburban I Commando. Mean, I remember even Suburban Commando was in 1991. More fucking wrestling videos. Jesus. Come on, IMDb. Just give me the movies. Yeah, and then eventually Mr. Nanny. I mm-hmm. got it. Mr. Nanny in 93. Mm-hmm. As Sean Armstrong. Terry Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So good. he was. Thund- oh, can we all? The oh, Thunder. Oh, Thunder in Paradise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thunder in Paradise. Let's not forget that. Yeah. Mess with him. I'll it's never like forget that. The dice. All right, but <laughs> this one was done during the peak of Hulkamania. Am I yeah. correct in assuming that Hulkamania, which swept the United States and the world like the wildfire? The world. Yeah. Uh, established this larger than life character, a guy who <laughs> Santa with muscles. All right, Sean. Stop put it away. scrolling, Sean. Oh put it away. <laughs> Is that the wow. title of a movie? That's that you the title just of randomly... a movie. Nineteen ninety six. Santa with muscles. Oh, was he trying to like cut into the family market I even think, more? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, he only went for the three. Trying ninjas, to have his jingle all the way. Mega Mountain. Well, yeah, but he's going for like uh, he's trying to be like. Well, I was going to say wholesome, wholesome yeah, yeah, family. Well, type, that's how the friendly. like that's what that's the direction they like because even The Rock did that as well, mm-hmm. like yeah. the tooth fairy and shit. Because that's like, their audience, game I think, right? Game, I mean, like yeah. kids watch wrestling and then grow yeah. up to be wrestling fans, right? right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know. No, I'm, this, this is, is true. A, I have seen my share of wrestling people. I uh, watched lots of it for a while. So mm-hmm. there you go. <laughs> yeah. We all did at some point. Yeah, yeah. most of us. Yeah. Um. Except Michaela, no, she's curiously, not, curiously no, I was shaking. Like, no, I her head never over. that. That maybe, maybe it's like chicken pox, and it'll hit me really late in life, you know, because I didn't get it. I as don't a know kid. if it hasn't hit no. you at this yeah, point. You're no, past, no, no, you're yeah. past it. The you're impressionable it. age yeah. for it, and nope. you're past the golden age, so it wouldn't be, there'd be no point yeah, there's anyway. There's nothing. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing. Just, what, what would I have now, John Cena? Not even that. Not even it's really. Yeah. You'd be a Roman Reigns fan, which. 
<laughs> Oof, I'm saying words you guys don't look like no. you understand. Yeah, I, I stopped watching. Head. Wow. <laughs> Stopped so, watching a while ago. Okay, thing. but this movie, so it came about obviously to capitalize on the success of Hulkamania and said, you know, we got to move him into movies. And so, bam. It's basically the scene in the hours, movie. What? Oh, no, we're just like, well, how can we capitalize what on this? What is this movie Which about? One? What are we talking about? This is a battle of TV networks. The, yeah, that's what this is about. This is it really almost. Is. Based on real life. Uh, yeah, this, this is, is the, almost a documentary. This is the height. Basically. Yeah, this is the height of WCW versus WWF. Yeah. And that happened at this point yeah, in 1989? So it was happening. It was okay. all happening. All right. So there's a world cable network. World, world television, world television network. network. All right. Run oh, by boy. Kurt Fuller. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Is he chewing fucking scenery? Oh, yeah. scenery. Yes. But I love it. His I'm, eyes I'm are here bugging it. out of his head. He's and sweating. He's, every single he's so he's angry. Screaming. He's angry so angry. And and screaming angry. every line. Yeah. He's the head he's of Vince McMahon. said uh, network, <laughs> yeah. right? He is. He is. <laughs> okay. So the biggest uh, television entertainment phenomena in the movie mm-hmm. is uh, World Wrestling Federation. Yes. Oh, yes. M- much like over the top. In the, the universe of this movie, literally the only thing people watch is wrestling. Yeah. Like, that's it. That's it. You that's have it. that on TV, and you it's a ratings goldmine. Mm-hmm. Yep. And mm-hmm. so, Kurt Fuller's network wants to appropriate uh, Hulk Hogan's character, who's called Rip. He works for a rival network. They want him to get out of his contract, come work for them. Yeah. Yeah. But so, his word is his bond, Colin. <laughs> well, because he's a decent, upstanding guy, Michaela. I mean, sure. like, you know, this guy is as right as rain. Mm-hmm. Hulk, or sorry, Rip. 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 What's his last name? Rip. Tom, Rip, Rip Thomas. Thomas. Rip Thomas? Rip Thomas. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Could have done some better work with that last name, but whatever. Why is he just not like the Ripper and they call him right. Rip? Like, yeah. why is it not something yeah. like that, you know? Or like yeah. Rip Rogan. Or like, he should be like, <laughs> should be, like <laughs> there should be an alliteration <laughs> in his take, name. Take the Scooby-Doo approach and call him Rip Rogan, really? Something, yeah. He, that's, oh, oh, are you saying that's a Above this movie? <laughs> I don't think so. Not at all. He should be Rip Rogan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why did they change the names? It, because they thought if this movie was enough of a hit, all the kids would go out and buy the Rip merchandise on top of buying the Hulk merchandise, right. and they could double, double up. Double, double, merch- double up. Oh, that's, yes. See, that's I know that about Vince That is McMahon. literally yes. the only reason. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Otherwise, because everything else is, you know. Yeah, because Jess, uh, uh, Jesse, Jesse Ventura is WWF in it as Everyone as else is themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone mean, else mean is themselves. Mean Jesse yeah. Ventura. Everybody else is themselves. It's the WWF. Tiny Lister is himself. Like, yeah. everyone is else is himself. Is this the first WWE? Well, now it's WWE, right? Yeah. Uh, is this the first movie that they were involved and put money into? Because it was produced by Vince McMahon. Yeah. So, yeah. I was, think so I think so. It feels like it. This in 1989, mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tell yeah. us if we're wrong. Well, this is where it all starts. Small beginnings. Yeah, I'm trying to. I feel like Macho Man may have did something, but I don't know. I think I don't, I nothing just, was I, ever as big as I Hulk. know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, tell us about this boardroom meeting. This is uh, one of the greatest scenes in the movie because the ca- great character actor David Paymer is in this along with Andy Samberg's dad. <laughs> a, guy, a guy who might Feels as well like be Andy Samberg's Might as well be dad. Andy Samberg. In fact, I want them to George Lucas this movie and then just go back and add Andy Samberg. You, uh, you yeah, remember that movie, that That's My Boy with Adam yes. Sandler? Like, why was this guy not in it instead of Adam Sandler? Like, yeah. this guy and Andy Sandler, yeah. they actually look identical. That, so it would have yeah, been, it, it been confusing, Perfect. honestly, even. Well, they're just that guy probably died of coke <laughs> at some point. <laughs> that's, that's, why to, yeah. Yeah. that's why he doesn't. That's why his list is short. He died of cocaine. Yeah. Well, he's they. They are the two lackeys to Kurt Fuller's like alpha dog in the boardroom. Yes, and, and great. He just goes around like yelling at people, pointing breaking people. shit. Oh, it's fantastic. Take a leak, <laughs> which apparently <laughs> means you're fired. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Sure, because she was very upset at being told that. She yeah. hopped out of there. She picked up her shit like, and walked out. She uh, definitely got fired. Uh, so she got fired. And you could tell, like, it was one of those things where she was on thin ice and this, like, her, this idea was, like, her last shot yeah, at saving her job. And she fucked it up. And that's when he told her to take a leak, which mm-hmm. apparently, yeah, means you're fired. Is that lingo in the late <laughs> I, 80s? Like, I 90s? don't recall <sighs> that ever. There's a lot of lingo in this that I don't think existed anywhere else. No. I'm sure 72 Duke- hours and Coke in a. Florida Again, hotel room. Jockass. Jockass. <laughs> the biggest insult you could ever oh, say. Yeah. Jockass. Jockass. He pulls that one out at least three times at during least, the course. Yeah. In like big moments, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to like drive home yeah. the insult. You 
Jockass! Well, couldn't you feel it? I mean, it sounded kind of right. I felt things during this movie. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, that's, I guess I'll say that. Kurt Fuller will stop at nothing to get rip on his network, though. It's yeah. true. It's, it's the true. thesis statement of this movie, I guess. Right. Even giving him a blank check, like, just tell us what you want, you know. I won't uh, be there when that check clears. I knew he was going to shove it in his mouth. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was a good knew joke. It. It was, it was, but it was very poorly delivered. That's true. Well, it was delivered I'm, by Hulk Hogan, thespian. I'm just saying, Kurt thespian. Fuller had some balls. He kept pushing Hulk Hogan. He yeah, did. Like yeah. three he times. He touched him multiple yeah. times. Mm-hmm. Like he aggressively. I'm going to say that the thesis of this movie is all about power and strength, true or false. Every I character. Guaranteed. Kurt yeah. Fuller's well, yeah. character. Yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> well, okay. Considering we'll, we'll, who wrote it and how it's acted. Yeah. Yeah. Power and strength. Yeah, this is Kurt Fuller macho. has it because not only is his character wealthy, exceptionally wealthy, but he is also like uh, the two other characters, uh, Rip and Zeus, who we'll meet later. He's like those guys. Mm-hmm. He's just not physically as buff as they are. Mm-hmm. Right. That's Vince McMahon, except Vince McMahon is as buff as yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Vince, yeah. Vince McMahon is fucking Vince McMahon gets in the ring. Huge. He, Vince McMahon was jacked. Yeah, huge. Mm-hmm. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. and now his daughter is too. Pretty much. Stephanie, Stephanie yeah. They're she, all jacked. She's yeah. pretty big, yeah. And his son-in-law, Triple H. Yep. Is that a, wow, you're, a thing you're, anymore? You're, uh, no, you're right. Bravo. <laughs> I think you're throwing out the only facts you know about wrestling. That's but, true, because that was job. going on when, was I, yeah, when I was watching it. <laughs> Those are right. Yep. Um, okay, so basically, uh, since uh, Rip turns them down and is uh, they try to abduct him, which basically. leads to a fight inside a car warehouse li- well, hangar. Well, hold on. Oh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. The, so he gets in the limo and the limo driver's like, he's like not following the directions and that's when Rip's like, oh, so some shit's there. up. And steel plates come over all the windows. So like, yeah. This not only is like this an abduction, but it's like a specifically it's, pimped out car for it's abduction. Like an, it's an armored limo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know who your passenger is going to be, so you got to plan ahead. And yeah, and so Rip's like kicking the side of the limo, and apparently he's kicking it hard enough to make the limo swerve. All okay, over but the that may be us interpreting because no, what it you looks see his like feet denting the door though. Yeah, his feet or like a shotgun blast of pellets. I couldn't tell like the the shape oh, that it makes. It, it looks, the shape it looks like a match up. Yeah, no, it looked like little. That's pellets. because yeah. someone's like, what's the equivalent of Hulk? Kicking at this door. A shotgun. A shot. So there's a guy on the other side shooting this door shooting with a shotgun. At the door. Like, yeah. This is the equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. But we think, right, that yeah. because he's kicking the door, the guy's swerving all over. Because there's the... no other reason. For no him other to be reason. Swerving. Yeah. He yeah. put the he put the metal partition up. There's no other reason for him to be swerving. Yeah, is exactly. it possible that Hulk Hogan, much like Superman, has a body mass that is like heavier than uh, ne- known natural elements on the earth? And yes, the it's possible. Yes, I believe so. Is- that's the only way you can win a match with a leg drop. Yeah. That's I mean, well, can yeah. we just a leg drop. A leg drop. That's his finishing move. In real life. In, re- in the movie, movie. No, it's a no, fucking in- axe handle. Yeah. Which is the worst move ever. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's how you're gonna finish a dude? Uh, I'm it- sorry for saying finish a dude. <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, fighting in this move. Like you expect, I think going into this, there's going to be a lot of wrestling moves. There's not, right, which well, is what, not. Okay. which is what I thought was going to happen. We were talking off mic, and I was like, uh, I was like, you know, people keep writing in about like their wrestling memories, and I'm like, well, this isn't it's, really this a, is wrestling not a wrestling movie. movie. I was like, there are no. long stretches of this movie with no wrestling at all. Most and of the stretches they, in this movie yeah. do not involve no, wrestling. And, and when they are wrestling, I say that loosely. They're just hitting each other. It's yeah. And it's That's so it. slow. It's That's so it. slow. It's not a suplex yeah. in this movie. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, it's there's, like a yeah. stage, what, like a brawl or something like yeah. that. Well, I mean, there's only basically going to be the two big wrestling moments for Hulk Hogan mm-hmm. in the movie. There's the one at the beginning and the actual the battle ring. of the tough guys at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. those are the only two. He only has so it's suspense, yeah. you know, because we got to keep him. We're going to build up the mystique of the man. Of course, we do that by kidnapping him, locking him inside a steel trap inside. A limousine, which, which leads to one of my favorite moments. Explodes out of the top of the thing. The top of the limousine explodes open. It does. Yep. Hulk the Hogan whole roof is open. The whole launches roof. out of it, and he lands on the top and mm-hmm. like does some kind of animal grunting. What the fuck was going on? He's with in all a state this? of Hulkamania. Yeah, yes. yeah. A state. Rip, ripomania, probably. Ripomania. Yeah, in sure. this movie. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. Gotta say, gotta say, <laughs> gotta say, Rip and Hulk are practically identical. Right. I but, mean, people in this movie call him Hulk. So. Oh yeah, actors straight up call him Hulk. Yeah, and you and apparently this was a one take movie because you couldn't get a better version of that. But I yeah. missed that. Oh, oh waitress. the waitress. Yeah, no, I remember yeah. you guys calling it. Out. She I calls missed it. The she says line. it twice. Because she says, Hulk, you got to hang on to this girl when she's talking oh, about Joan oh, Severance. Oh, and then uh-oh. she says it again. When, yeah, when she hugs him after yep. he like kicks the crap out of those yep. robbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Yep. Kicking the crap out of robbers oh, in a, in in a, a wrestling movie? What are we talking Hold about? Hold on. So, we can't uh, skip to that yet. We're missing yeah. a crucial part of the limo scene. Missing many uh, yeah. <laughs> so after, way ahead. after he jumps out of the roof of the limo and um, kills all the like cronies in kills this like, cronies. well, like, like. You know, Mames. PG thirteen beats, them yeah. beats the fuck like, out of knocks them unconscious, assuming puts dead. them through windows. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he all of them, all of them yeah. through all the windows. Yeah, he grabs the limo driver. Oh and shit! Oh, right. oh, oh god! god. Nice. Saying, Fucking hell! Out. I'd rather we, we just skip this god part. God damn it! Though. I would rather <laughs> we skip. So he pulls the limo driver out, <sighs> and like, god. did you guys notice how high up on his back the wet spot was? Oh yeah. It was way high, like his, way up. His pretty pants high. are so pretty high, yeah. but it, the back of his jacket was too. Yeah, like way to. up his back. It was explosive. I, I just I can't. <laughs> explosive so, dookie. So this guy's pants are all wet. The back of his jacket is wet, and Hulk goes, "What's that smell?" Oh my good. god! And the guy says, "Dookie." <laughs> <It's wrong. laughs> and he says it like, like that. Like, he's crying and saying, "Dookie." Yeah. And uh, that poor actor. I think that's when Hulk uh, rip takes pity on the man because yes. I don't think he beats oh, him up. That's me. Well, he yeah, does well, you that shit whole, yourself. That's bad Because uh, that's what, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think that's how you get away from uh, animals. You shit on yourself or you pee on yourself and then they don't attack you or something. Is that, that how you that do thing? it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, because like, what's more, find what's more that humiliating than well, that? The smell, like, like, you can't do that. Because yeah. he's all, like, they equate uh, Hulk Hogan to, like, a dog, basically, at this point in the film. He he's, slams through yeah. stuff. And no, he's acting like one. He's growling. He's snorting. He's sniffing. Yep. He's uncontrollably checking out women. Uncontrollably. He really is. It's like he cannot help himself. He is, like... <laughs> But he can when he's put in a hotel room. With yeah, him. that's it the thing. Might as yeah. well cut to the scene in the mask where he's turning into the wolf, going, "Yeah, yeah. 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 like a Tex Avery cartoon." Yeah, yeah. might as well. Yeah. But, but that's only for that one scene, though. That like yeah, sure. that doesn't follow through through the rest of the movie. Know, no, it have, gets very but, sensitive after that. But what are they doing by doing this? It's like you have to set up that this guy is like sweaty and he's a fucking they, man. Yeah, they, he's they, a they want you to. They want you to think that he's a fucking Neanderthal. Yeah. Yeah, because that pays and off then, in a joke. So he meets uh, what's her name? She's introduced. Samantha Joan Severance. Sam. Sam, Sam and more. Joan Samantha Severance. Samantha and more. Sam. Sam and more. And more. And boy, is she more. And uh, I think is she. The, she takes him to dinner. I think like the first very first okay. scenes. Yeah, she that that was a whole weird weird like reversal situation because he was like drooling over her texting yeah. recartooning over her in this board meeting in front of all these people and then she's just like angrily is like meet me here at eight o'clock dress nice like I'll pick you up yeah yeah it came out of nowhere and he's just like wow it's very he it. did he meet his match, <laughs> he met his match. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that no then she takes him to one of the fanciest, swankiest restaurants. Church. Churches. It's a church. Churches. It is a right straight up, up yeah. church. church. They it's pan a church. down a whole stained glass peaked window. There's arches. That is a fucking church. Mm-hmm. So if someone in this movie had access to a church that they could I mean, in. I love the idea. Maybe it's an actual <laughs> restaurant yeah. that was in a church. And I thought it looked really cool. Like, if yeah, that's, that's a real place, a, that's right, awesome. That's not a yeah. bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. And these uh, waiters come over. Well, basically, like snooty a waiter. French waiter, classic, a maitre d'. The French are assholes. <laughs> some some very low hanging comedy fruit here. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Snooty French waiter. Mm-hmm. And she is like, I hope you don't feel uncomfortable here. There are things on the menu that you know, whatever. And Judgmental. he did not wear his bandana. He did take his bandana off. For he this, did. So oh, yeah, he's in a nice white uh, tuxedo white suit. suit. Okay. White suit. suit. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's no collared shirt underneath that. No. It's a fucking t-shirt. It's a there. leisure suit. Yeah. <laughs> it really He's is. wearing a collared, unbuttoned collared shirt. I think. Yeah. It, I think it is. I think yeah. it's collared. I think it's just unbuttoned. It's unbuttoned all the way down. It's like it can't fucking, be hundred. No. It's like formal. fucking John Travolta. Yeah. Exactly. It really is. Yep. 
Yeah. But does it surprise anyone to find out that not only does Hulk Hogan eat here all the time, but he also speaks French and knows what? All, what's and he's audiences. friends with the chefs, apparently. What? Because oh, yeah. they came out and they're like, oh, Monsieur Rip. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Monsieur, Monsieur Rip. Rip. Monsieur Le Rip. Oh. So he's the Rip. He's the usual. Monsieur yeah. Le Rip. Oh, yeah. Monsieur Le Rip. <laughs> uh, oh, we you must forgive all. Pierre. He is new. Constantly doing that. That actor, <laughs> that oh. actor is... Playing oh, it up. Wee wee. Yeah. And he's like, oh, so he snaps his bow tie. Yeah. Like, that's a fucking French asshole. Yeah. Oh, man. So, right there, it's like, okay, so we've established this guy is like a beastly, you know, animalistic monster of oh, power. A sophisticated sign. That's right. Mm-hmm. These are the mm-hmm. guys who back in the day did the Grey Poupon ads. Yeah. Did yeah. Hulk Hogan ever do a Grey Poupon ad? He should have. I he don't should've. think he did, but he should have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just he kept really it to those have. two butlers. I know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, those commercials. Yeah. All I remember is the car to car. Yeah, that's, that's all yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do you Do have any great poupon? poupon? Well, well and then Wayne's course. World did it, which Kurt Fuller was in. So. Yes, that's right. Uh, Got a six degrees of great poupon right, yeah. separation here. Kurt <laughs> Fuller is the evil. Well, uh, no. He's a TV executive. Yeah, Wayne's again. World as well. Like, this yeah. is his great, wheelhouse. He's a yeah. great executive weinie. Yeah, he is. He does in Ghostbusters as well. Yeah. That's right. Ghostbusters too. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Just fucking wiener. All right. So while guy. all this uh, uh, whining and dining of Rip is taking place, the other n- network run by Kurt Fuller, mm. they're looking for the next big thing because yep. they can't get Rip to join their... Because his word is his bond. So That's right. Can't. He's staying right. with yep. the WWF. So what do they turn to? Roadhouse. <laughs> it's worse than Roadhouse, though. Yeah, oh, Roadhouse, far worse. Roadhouse looks way classier than this oh, place. Oh, sure. Yeah, I would rather go to a Roadhouse. Even the over-the-top bars look nicer than this yeah, place. Yeah, this place. I was uncomfortable watching gross. this place. In this what way? You're tires? talking about, uh, like, you might, you felt like you might get a contact, a kind of a disease. Yes, 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 yes. Like, I need shots to go in that place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though there's someone Grinding. freely getting a tattoo in that open, dirty ass yeah, bar. That's what I said. This is not a sanitary place nope. to get that done Stacked at all. Tires Stacked on the pillars tires. of the building. Yeah, yeah. disgusting yeah. bathrooms. Not to mention, like it's clear that they have a specific, like Vince McMahon and whoever else is affiliated with this movie from WWF. They have a very specific mindset of who their audience is. Okay, th- I, th- this is where I was going. <laughs> right. Who is that? Right. Who? Is their audience and who are they supposed to relate to in this scene? Because all the characters here, are like toothless, exactly, snorting, hairy, uh, oily, yep, no yep. shirts, dirty overalls with no shirts, uneducated, filthy, disgusting yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Like these were the characters that they yeah. relied heavily upon, yeah, in the early years of the WWF. Yes. So who is their audience? And- because the the movie sets up a dynamic between the the snooty powers that be, right. Kurt Fuller and the you know executive. They have this money because they go in. I think this is the scene which like sets it up. They go in and uh, you know they're mocked by the toothless unwashed masses. It's mm-hmm. like this is two worlds that just don't you know get along, right? Um, but they have the money and they look down upon all these guys like they're just animals and they're beasts. And like, what are we doing here? Like, these are the same people who would cheer for a hanging. But Kurt Fuller sees the potential of yeah, he, he doesn't know. give a fuck. All he sees is ratings and dollar signs. And that's what those two like right. his people cronies should realize is mm-hmm. that like it, yeah. he's not here for he's just here for money. That's it. He doesn't give a fuck about anything else. Oh, right. so. People love this. We can yeah. make money off of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So who's the audience? <laughs> Are they the dwar- the little person in the cage? What is up with the little person in the cage? Yeah, hanging uh, from the ceiling. Uh, That's yeah. never addressed. I feel like he's making money. Never addressed. I feel like that guy's doing fine. Yeah. But like they cut sure, to him like four times and they never address it. But they're making it. It's kind of like a carnival kind of atmosphere. It's a sideshow. Yeah. yeah. The whole yeah. thing's yes. a sideshow. Absolutely. Yes. So you got your rich nudie you guys. You don't normally see this on TV. Yeah, Here they're sophisticated. They, they even buy. say you'll never get this on TV yeah. to Kurt Fuller. And yeah, he does. Yeah. And he's the Kurt, Kurt Fuller's the kind of guy who buys like the chair of Louis the fourth or whatever and has yes. it. Louis the 14th. The 14th. Yes. Thank you very Louis much. Louis would be so proud. Yeah. And then those, those chairs and creaks like it's going to break. Were not, ah. Those chairs were not from that era. <laughs> no. They were not. They were leopard print. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Moving on. No leopard prints in uh, in France or whatever the. Um. Yeah. No. Probably no. not. Probably a, not. I need an official word on this. Yeah. Um. 
so yeah, I mean, that's setting up the dynamic and that's where I was sitting there going like, I don't know who is, are we supposed to identify with? Like we obviously don't identify with the villainous, you know, rich, powerful, uh, money guys because they're out of touch with what the audience actually wants. Right. But at the same time, it's like on the other side, you've got all these like toothless barroom brawlers who just bust, you know, uh, bottles over each other's heads is it, for fun. Maybe. Is it just supposed to be a fish out of water thing? Like, uh, look at these fucking like for a suits, minute, you know, for a minute, it like at the beginning of that scene, it should be, but, but it goes on for so long. It goes on for so long. But don't long. you identify with the guys when they have to, they go to the bathroom and there's this trough. Uh, no, I don't identify with anything in that scene. No, I don't. You know, and you're like, who am I no, supposed personally, to? No, I don't. Personally, yeah. I don't identify <laughs> with anything. We should be identifying, scene. like we're supposed to be with Hulk, but they never cut, they don't cut back to him for like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah there's a big hopeless part of this movie. Yeah, there should yeah. be more Hulk in this part of yes. the movie, and I we don't to, get it. I need to talk about that bathroom scene a lot, because a lot happens. In a very, the one with little. the Doberman Pincher. Like. Which is a great touch. I like just walking <laughs> oh, yeah, into a bathroom yeah, yeah. and having a fucking dog. There's I, a guard dog yeah. chained to I the enjoy, floor. I enjoyed that. that there was a guard dog in the bathroom. There was Everything a, yeah. else, disgusting. There was yeah. a stall that was spray painted as the VD room. Yeah. <sighs> This is like and a I biker bar on steroids. But like there was a okay, so we're gonna show that, but there's no glory hole in this movie. Like I feel I thought that was gonna be the next stall over, right? Not well unless that's what's behind <laughs> the VD room. Just someone guard. sucking dick? Is that no, I thought you were I see? thought you were at least gonna see like an arrow pointing down to like sure, a whole for a good stall. Time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that in no. this, in the tone of this movie. Right. We, they couldn't but the get VD that room is because okay? there was there was something written on the stall yeah, when the big guy comes out as like pencil neck geek so I'm like as an insult was as graffiti on the thing I'm like alright that's the where they were going but the room passes I guess I think that's as extreme okay. as they could get and, and and a guy putting his face up to strangers dicks and being like they're teeny weenies passes apparently because they thought that was that's, funny that's like little that's, kid jokes it is yeah. that's what they thought. this <laughs> yeah. would be great this would be hilarious yeah. you got a tiny wing yeah. Yeah. that is yeah. the most insulting funny thing yeah, to, on these, a to the men who wrote he this movie puts on his a face playground. right up to their dicks yes, he, he puts his face right up he does. Dick. He gets down yes. there. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's teeny weeny. Mm-hmm. And that trough they were pissing in was overflowing. That was uh, disgusting. I think they went to the next one, but still. <laughs> still, there's still piss overflowing this, out of the it's floor. Wrong. It's yeah, disgusting. I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I can't. I've I feel, been in those I feel, bathrooms. I feel bad. I yeah. But yeah, some toothless dude puts his face right down by their dicks and says that he's not going to beat them up because their dicks are so small. It's, I mean, it's too pathetic, basically. Yeah. Fortunate for them. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate a, for us having to watch it. Yeah. So yeah, it's for a too long and fuck. Well, every yeah. scene fuck in this movie them. ran on fuck for too them. long. This yeah, is like a half ugh. hour movie expanded out to you know, like an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> so the uh, so basically, then uh, Kurt Fuller says we're going to take the essence of what's here. We're going to make a thing called the tough guy battle of the battle tough, of guys. tough guys. guys battle of the network all stars. And we're going to offer a hundred thousand dollars to tax free. <laughs> that's well, the that's big, important. That's the kicker. <laughs> tax free. It's still too it's like low. You morons don't even know what that means, but you can get. Uh, yeah. So uh, and so he's trying to find like his champion uh, fighter, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Ultimately, yeah. the goal is to find a guy that can rip into yeah. the ring, so right. he'll have the battle of the titans. Who shows up? Tiny Zeus Everybody. Lister. Was his name? Uh, let's see, was it? I remember him being Tiny Zeus Lister, but yeah. is it just Tiny, like Tom Tiny Lister? Here's it's, the thing. It depends on what he's in. You know, right, it depends say, on what he's in. This it changes. is his early stuff, so it's, Tom. is it Tom? Tiny, Tom Tiny Lister, maybe, Tom at this point? Tom Tiny yeah. Lister as Zeus, but yeah. then he adopts Zeus yeah. later as on. his actual yeah. Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he's in, like, uh, he's he's Debo. He's Debo. From he's Friday. Debo yeah. from Friday. He's and in Friday. the Dark Knight. Oh, he'll yeah. always be the president of the Earth mm-hmm. in the fifth <laughs> element. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. obviously, his best role. He was, I, yeah. yes, he was like, in wow. Jackie Brown too. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because he was, uh, he was a Robert bail Forrester's agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Winston. Like, yeah. I can play against type and being the president of the world. Yeah, right. Yeah. Great. That's that's good. Great. Yeah, great. 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 Yeah. Fantastic. He's, I love that he's movie. one of those people that gets that gets jobs based on his appearance sure. solely. Which, like, I mean, that's a great. I wish I could make a career sure. out I, of that. Yeah, yeah. Feel like. He's never going to have the, a tender love scene. Well, I feel like yeah. he's the predecessor to like Terry Crews, but then yeah, Terry yeah, yeah. Crews is like, hey, I'm funny as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talented I'm good at on top I'm of what I'm actually talented. Yeah, yeah, and then talented. he got all the other yeah. good roles. That's Agreed. a really good analogy. Yeah. It really so, is. It yeah. Like yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like apparently he sucked so bad at wrestling after three fights, they were like, "Yeah, no, we're not yeah, having no, you anymore." No. Oh, yeah, if, 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 yeah. He just can't perform. No, his, no. Well, what the fuck? How'd they find him for this? Who was he? 
I don't know. I don't know. think he was anybody. I, yeah, I, as far I, as I, I think I, it, like I said, I literally think is because of his body type. They were like, you should do wrestling. No, mm. it's it's a, it's absolutely his just his look. He's yeah. got he's oh, got yeah. the crazy look and mm. he's huge. That's all. That's Vince it. McMahon That's is it. big on the look. Yeah. Very big. Very big. Yes. And just like he looks, he looks like a fucking guy. Get him in there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, he did three fights and they were like, you cannot perform, so you're yeah. out of here. So yeah. He shit the bed real quick in wrestling, as far as that's concerned. So, like, that's like why he pops up in random roles in movies is like when they need a big hulking guy that, and you know, especially now that like Michael Clark Duncan is not around anymore, mm. and so yeah. and Terry Crews is busy doing everything, so it's like right. being good at his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I mean, he knows how to make a <laughs> dramatic. If nothing else, entrance. we get out of this movie. God bless Terry Crews. Yeah. yeah, God bless mm-hmm. Terry Crews. He's well, a, and he's a feminist. Mm-hmm. I love him. Uh, Zeus <laughs> makes his entrance by, uh, I mean, the way that you know you expect by knocking the fucking wall down. Nobody, right. he doesn't come through the door. He just no, knocks the fucking wall. A huge wall, down. wall. Oh, yeah. and he's backlit when he does it too. So he it's is. like, who is that? These guys yeah. are supermen. Mm-hmm. They're not like, yeah. the but rest he's in of another us. level. Yeah, you know, that's he's... what they wanted you to believe. That was the thing. These are all supermen. These are mm-hmm. not normal people. Yeah, this is myth building for yes. the franchise. For you know the off-screen franchise. Yeah. That they, yeah. I, that's what I love about wrestling <laughs> is this kind of like, you know, I've always said it's like, uh, you know, it's like a soap opera yeah. but yeah. with people beating the shit out of each other and it comes to your town. Yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you can go actually participate in some way in this uh, storyline that's been going on yeah. for God knows how many that's fucking why years. It, that's why it hooks people. It yeah. appeals to all the elements that we're attracted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's changed over the years because yeah. going back um, at this time it was just like these are the larger than life figures that you'll see here. It's I think it's gotten more now. It's just like the like the everyman guy has the opportunity to rise up and like beat these guys. But back then it was just like big huge yeah. dudes yeah. and they're bigger. These are, yeah, titans. These are the are gods bigger, among men. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bigger yeah. than life. Mm-hmm. These are the guys. Yeah. Well. uh the next thing that I remember happening is so that the, there's, there's a the board meeting. Trip. Uh, there's a bunch of board meetings in this road, movie. The road trip. The road trip. The the, the road business trip. trip for no reason with Joan Severance. We don't really know where they're going or why. Yeah. Oh, they, okay. Yeah. So there's two plots. The going. overnight, I guess I should say. Yeah. Uh, right. The overnight. Right, yeah. Right. 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 For, 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 like, best, did they ever explain best, why they go on that? Confusing scenes. I don't remember. I just remember them saying you're going to go on an overnight and then they get off a plane. Like, that's like, yeah. yeah. Is she she there to just try and convince him to? Yeah, because she's she's supposed to seduce him. Kurt Fuller says, you were supposed to seduce him. Yeah, she's supposed supposed to to seduce him. Which is odd because she works for the World Wrestling Federation because that's the boardroom meeting that she was at. Because she was brought in True. as like is she not I, a double I, agent. She was a double agent. Yeah, I guess so. I, I thought, she was in the WWF. Yeah, but meeting. she was also she in the was, Kurt Fuller board. Was that the point, WWF so. meeting or was that just like a PR agency? I think it was like well, it was like his management team. I think it team. was an agency because remember he said we put yeah. in your agency more work I think it's than like anyone a, else. I think it's like a management. So she team. was like a middleman yeah. that he was like you. You know, I'll pay you some extra on the side if you yeah. seduce him to do this. Exactly. I think this is his like PR team. Yeah, yeah. Like the Rock has a PR team now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's basically that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the idea, the unknown to the unbeknownst to the viewer and to Rip at this point in time mm-hmm. that she is there to seduce him to or entice him basically yes. into joining uh, the the World Television Network, the <laughs> WTN. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which we is just, just go with that. Yeah, me. not even don't even join a wrestling a different wrestling federation. Yeah. Just join. It's a different network. It's a, network. Network. It's a, different, it's a yeah. network. It's not it's even a different weird. show. They come up with like a branding for the fucking uh, 72 like... hours, Colin. 72 hours. We don't have time for that shit. Just keep going. Okay. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. Just got to write those was, pages. But uh, what was their plan when they got him? Put him on a, a comedy? Like, yeah. No, I think they show? were like, he can do whatever he wants because so whatever like, we he does can, brings we can in ratings. We can build a wrestling show around him? Is that, their, yeah. is that their goal? It, it doesn't felt feel like, like another wrestling show. It felt like they, uh, even though this is not covered in the movie, it uh-huh. felt to me like they had a wrestling show and they wanted him on that wrestling show. And then they're like, but his you know network or whatever is so big that we can't compete with it. So we got to come up with the next best thing. And that's what leads them out to find uh, the battle of the toughest tough See, guys. Tough guys, I don't yep. feel they had a wrestling No, show. I, 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 I didn't like get that Kurt impression Fuller at all. Was just a fucking, a, you like, join us, then we're going to make one. Not even a wrestling show. We just need him on the network because yeah. he brings in viewers. Like I, People they, want I this. Agree. We they have, want that guy. We That's have it. Sean. Have you heard about his charity work? <laughs> uh, put that in your fucking whatever he says. You know, he's more than just a wrestler, Sean. Apparently, he's a, <laughs> he's a, he's a lover. 
Yeah. And uh, uh, he's a, a very sensitive, sensitive man. Very sensitive yeah. young man. A sophisticated diner. He yes. runs. He's a sophisticated. Um, he's a brother. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't yeah. talked about that. Yeah. What is his name? Uh, Randy. 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 Uh, Randy, Randy his Thomas, brother, I guess, yeah. Who forms part of his core, core team along with his trainer and but he doesn't uh, do anything. Randy's buddy and his girlfriend or whatever. And that's the core team. Yeah. Yep, that's and it. The, who's the woman? Whose girlfriend is that? I think, I think it's Randy's girlfriend. Is it Randy's? Oh, or was it? Or is it Randy's so. friend's girlfriend? I'd that see, random I couldn't friend? Tell. Couldn't oh, tell. I don't know. Didn't know yeah. who she was It's with. not important. Because it's really she's not, not. It's really not. Uh, really given anything. No. A line or anything. Yeah. But I mean, what we're establishing here is that this is his power. This is what he draws his strength from. He is a family man. I mean, Apparently. Rip is a family man. Not only that, but he's also kind to animals and <laughs> kids. <laughs> Is he kind of animals? I don't know, but I assume that's in there <laughs> that's somewhere. Is that, did yeah. I miss a oh scene? Oh my God, why? Th- see, this is how you know this movie was not written by people that know how to write scripts because there was no save the cat moment, right? Mm-hmm. So there should have been one, at least in the first act of him being, you know, your moment where you pr- you demonstrate that your character is like a good hero as kindness is the but save the they, cat moment. They, we didn't have one. No, but he saved, uh, he saved, what was her name? Um, Sam. Sam. M, in the Sam and more in, in the in the um, in the car diner. parking that is in the, in the third garage. act. No, you it, need to introduce that shit way. But earlier. in the diner, there was a scene like out of also, the fucking blue where it's like movie. we need action in our movie. So yeah. they're like at a diner, and all of a sudden, yeah. like some guys come in to rob it, and, hold and it's oh, like right, and it's like right. his favorite diner because he knows the wait staff, and apparently right. they used to date. Yeah. Is what I gathered from that. Yeah, the fucked. waiters, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he comes through there all the time on tour. Yeah, but she said something that made it sound like they were somewhere. dating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guarantee it. Yeah, they got together. But he single handedly like takes out with these pies. Two guys. Pies. Well, first of oh. all, he rips one of the seats out. I love the way the scene is put together because he's like, "All right, when I move, you you run," and then he like gets up like right. while he's talking. Right. Yeah, it's amazing. She barely to has rip time. Yeah, that's what I see no, out of the ground. That's what I appreciate. I'm just like he's talking and going at the same time. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. go for it. Pick up that He's seat. like, when I get up, and then he gets up. Like, it's. When I get up, you, get, yeah. you hit the floor, and then he's already up and gone at that yeah. point. It's yeah. Great. We're, we're never going to get through pies. this movie. No, Probably I'm not. sorry, guys. We're not going to get through all this movie, but there's just too much. Jesus, 20 okay. minutes just passed. Well, wait, <laughs> the blink of an eye. Right. Holy so, shit. but you were talking earlier. We have to hit the love scene. The was jerking it? off push ups? Yes. What? The interlude. Oh. Of I was the like, what love interlude. scene? What are you talking the about? jerking off push ups. I mean, I love that scene. So I guess that's all that counts, right? It's the classic mix up. It's the. Classic, classic. It was a little bit this of like uh, Indiana Company Jones shit. and the Temple of Doom, where they're both on either sides of the wall, like you know, brushing their teeth and all that. Like, it, will she? Will he? <laughs> well, yeah. where is his? Where? Okay, where is, so they, he's, he's, they're supposed to have uh, two hotel rooms. I'm glad they one. answered the "Where is he spitting his shit?" <laughs> yeah, <at>. he <laughs> doesn't. Is no, the answer right? But they also make a joke about it, and he just swallows all the mouthwash. Mouth yeah. yeah, yeah. So Jones have rinse and and rip. Uh, it's always I always have to think it's Rip not Hulk, Rip. Um, which I think he had to think a couple. Which is times funny, too. but well, yeah, but it's funny. You call her Joan Severance, and then you call him. Yeah, Rip. because <laughs> her character name is. Uh, it's, be- it's Joan Severance yeah, Joan is Severance better. Is, like I want her character yeah. to be Joan Severance. Yeah. <laughs> they're on this trip that I don't really know why, but no. they're, they're on this yeah. whatever. It's a Rip this overnight. Trip. It's supposed to be. What you only have one one room booked for us, and there's uh, only one bed. So then he like tapes I across hit the my room. Head hard enough. <laughs> when they yeah. Everyone saw this coming. Oh, Everyone. Yeah. Uh, he tapes across the room and hangs a sheet to make like a divider on the bed. Well, because he's a gentleman. Yes, oh, of course. Sure, of he's, course. Yeah, he's he's. he's I'm gonna walk around in my underwear yes. for the rest <laughs> yeah. of the scene. Uh, yeah, she she perp like. Like, why did she bring that underwear? Was my question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, oh, yeah. She expected her own room. You can't blame her for that. Yeah, but then you, um, then you, you don't sleep bring that kind of underwear else. for I your mean, own room. I mean, she has nothing Ultimately, else. You don't bring that kind of underwear for Ultimately, your room. we find out that it was her plan all along. Yeah, That's but, very true. well, but at the same time, like, when she goes back to Kurt Fuller, she was like, why was there only one bed? Like, she brings that up to him, so she... He said, like, you were supposed to seduce him, but she also seemed like she didn't know that was the plan. It didn't I think she make kn- sense. Like, I think it was going to be more left up to her to do it between, yeah, between forced, two rooms, yeah. and he was forcing the issue to yeah, make yeah. sure that okay. she would do it. Yeah. 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 So, and she's like, there's like a montage of her, like, brushing her teeth and getting ready for bed, and him we cut well. to Hulk in the room with no sink and no bathroom doing the same thing. I can't explain how much of a change <laughs> this is from the previous movie we were watching yeah. up to this point, and then we get this next 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, this is where he gets to act. Right. Sensitive. This is, well, this is, he's a well rounded human being. Big brown cow eyes. Yeah. Is, yep. is, this is one of those moments. 
Mm-hmm. This gets to show the full range of the character. Right. He is not just this violent thug. Yep. Right. Yeah. So He's... she's got her sexy underwear on. She goes to bed. And uh, Rip goes to bed on his side of the sheet. And she wakes up in the middle of the night. And he's like breathing really hard. The bed's shaking up and down, and everyone is like, everyone in the room <laughs> groaned and was like, "Oh God, no!" Like you. That's because I was like two seconds before I was going to make this joke. Like the next thing you're going to hear is, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, and I'm like, "Oh, they're going to make the joke for me." All right, yeah. fine. This is where we're going. See, but I was like, they're not going to make this joke because they're not making those jokes in this movie. No, mm-hmm. it's just the uh, implication. Yeah, the right. Innuendo. Yeah, is, that's as far as you get. What is it? Was PG PG thirteen? PG thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. PG thirteen movie yeah. um and the bed's shaking up and down he's grunting really doesn't, hard doesn't masturbate and she but like <laughs> he fucks women <laughs> the, the problem i have with this scene is the way it's shot makes no sense that's the problem yeah you had? yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> because like when she peeks around the sheet you see some a part of his body and you don't know what it is at yeah. first like at like first i was like is that his ass, ass? he's got yeah. a pointy like, ass no it's it's the his heels it's on his like heels. the bed yeah because he's doing like really quick jerking off push-ups that make it sound like he's jerking off apparently yeah, yeah. like really quick though yeah, like really fast push-ups push yeah push-ups at the speed of light yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but then it seems shaking like the whole bed but then there's like i was confused by what was happening in that scene because it's like okay we're going to bed then He's uh, then working out, in the morning, yeah. Yeah. and she's yeah. like, "Wait!" He's like, ah, "I was didn't wait up for you, whatever." Don't wait and then me, yeah. it's like, "Okay." Then they go to bed, but then he's then he again. goes to bed <laughs> and, and he, jumps on the bed and breaks the yeah. fucking bed. She rolls on. He top literally of him. hurls himself <laughs> onto the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna go sleep at the couch down in the lobby, and we're just like, he "What gets the offended, fuck?" And I don't understand. He's he's too sensitive I, a man. Yeah. Apparently, well, he's like he's trying to he's work like, off all his jerk off energy, and then but he's, right. he's like accusing her of like putting up walls. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because she won't fuck you. This is that's what? exactly what he's saying. What are you saying? It's very. I feel yeah. like <laughs> this. I feel like Rip doesn't fuck. No, he does because it happens no, feel, later. It's oh, the, I feel the, like he doesn't. This is no, I just classic, in general. I feel like he oh. doesn't. Does it happen why. later? It, like well, it's it was about to. It yeah, was, yeah. I think he feels I, like a he, very no pent fucking up person. In this movie. I get that impression too. Actually, yeah. I don't think he fucks a lot. It was. Ooh, you uh, think he is like edging into the, his thing? You think? You think he's all about that? Maybe. I can it was that. about to happen later on because this is the sexual tension that you're building throughout the movie. You have the scene where like, oh, they're gonna do something, and then you know it's like she gets angry at him and he's like in a huff, and then it's like then the comedy bit where she rolls on top of him and then they have to you know so it dissipates the sexual tension but we're going to bring it back again later because she's going to see actually how good of a guy that she actually is or he is because he saves her from the diner and then saves her from being attacked and he loves children and he loves children she sees that and then she's in love with the guy and then they're actually going to do it and then coitus interrupt us before the coitus even begins it turns out that fucking tiny listers on tv calling him out looking right at him through the tv apparently yeah and so he has to go deal with that so it would have happened there but why why didn't he just do push-ups on the floor why do you have to do it on the edge uh, of the get bed more leverage and more workout if you have your no it's because elevated. he wanted her fucking attention it, that's yes, why that's why he wore the underwear he wore the high cut oh uh, you saw his bikini, ass you could bikini, see his ass the bikini briefs. Yes, the his bikini ass the bikini briefs. Were hanging out of yeah. those yeah for sure Hulk. god there was that's a very confident There were some man. looks in this movie. The the confidence is off the charts. Oh, yeah. A man who's bald with a uh, yellow mullet. D- Cocaine, dude. <laughs> the, silken hair of a Chinese man. the silken hair of a Chinese and man. the skin of a hot dog. That's exactly Cocaine what it is. Cocaine and the yeah. muscles, I suppose. Cocaine like, and muscles. Like, yeah, you, know. that, you could just name the 80s Cocaine and Muscles. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he got to write this movie all about how awesome he is. Why wouldn't he be True. super yeah, hyped? What it, is. You know? it is totally a vanity project for because mm-hmm. that's what it's like. Some people will. You know, I remember the uh, you know was whenever you have movies like this and a guy you know to fight somebody picks them up and slams them through a window of a limousine. Critics go like, "Well, you know, this is just silly because this never happened." I'm like, "Did you really think that the people who made this movie?" didn't know that when they were doing it this is all intentional exactly how can you grade against it if they're yeah. like they're not trying to play like a real world no this is scenario. what they're doing exactly on exactly yeah. if you've if you've ever watched wrestling you know there's those moments when the camera is like backstage and they're having like the the dialogue yeah and they're having those like dramatic moments that's this entire fucking movie oh yeah it's those back like behind the scenes on the camera 
at WWE events. That's what this is. Speaking yeah. of, we should check in with Randy at this point. We should check in with Randy. Yeah. Because about, about, about to get this fucked time, up. Yeah. <laughs> the movie checks in with Randy at this point, and for what he gets, what he gets, like taken hostage and taken to Tiny Lister, and and Tiny, Tiny Lister, Lister like beats the shit him? out of him, and like. Puts him in a coma? No, I think they go voluntarily. No, I thought they were like they taken were, there by Kurt Fuller. They were, they were watching him at a show. They yeah, were there voluntarily. Check out the competition. Yeah. Right. Right, well, right, right. well, that's his own damn fault then. Yeah. Yes. It don't feel bad yeah. for him anymore. And then yeah. Zeus went nuts and they were running away and ran into Kurt Fuller. Yeah. Yeah. Like and so then dudes. they get hauled off, beaten to shit. He's in a coma. This like fires up Rip, who goes to Tiny's uh, oh, it training fires room. Him up. It's where, such an emotional moment. There's stuff that I don't understand happening there. There's a bunch of double exposures and slow motion stuff. Is uh, it's cool, Colin? This, it makes it look cool. Okay, that's true. It's like this kind of. It's not true. Uh, it's this, you it's know. Not true. It's so tiny. Lister trains in a room that's full of rip posters and, and mirrors cinder blocks. and Kurt Fuller cinder blocks on, the TV. on chains that he yes. punches off of the chains. Yes. I believe he actually. I actually did thought that, that was really cool. I was like, I, that's yeah, actually like, pretty yeah, awesome. We mentioned yeah. this. I'm like, I think he's doing this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He's yeah. Ash. I'm sure they're made out of blocks. ash or something, but whatever. No, <clears throat> I bought it. Cardboard <laughs> or uh, what do you call compressed it? particle board? Yeah, yeah. But he just has Kurt Fuller like on TV. Telling him that Rip says you're a piece of shit and blah blah blah. It's just that hype real. Right. Yeah. yeah, get hype. Yeah, they like rigged his gym. Yeah, you're yeah. inside the mind of, right. of it's, it's, uh, this is the of uh, Zeus Ivan Drago. They ver- yeah, they even put this. like a projection of him on a fucking mirror. Yeah, yeah. When they're yeah. trying to that Rip goes right. Yeah, into. Well, that's what I'm scene. saying. It's well, like what's scene, happening? There's a scene we get to where Rip goes nuts, but we don't know what he knows at this point. Yeah, because we're just yeah, because we don't know what happened at this point. Yeah, we don't we're know. Like, is he, is Randy dead? Yeah. Is his brother dead? Yeah, like, what's going to, on? We because don't know we what's going on, Randy. Right to him, like tearing up his own gym. No, yes. that was no. That's his own gym. That's his gym that they booby. The, the like they went in there and invaded his territory and put up all this Zeus stuff. No, that was no, that was Zeus's was gym, Zeus's, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's they, his gym. They I'm covered gonna... they covered Zeus's gym with pictures of Hulk. Yeah, yeah. That's no, that Hulk. makes they no covered, sense. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, they covered, because they the, the video gym with pictures of Zeus. No, because the video, Kurt Fuller keeps saying like Hulk is the blah blah blah. It's like a it's like Kurt Fuller's talking right into the camera about all this Hulk shit. So it's like a hype video for Zeus to be yeah. like, you got to get him. That was that's Zeus's, Zeus's gym. Room. You know yeah. what? Right. No, but, you know what? There's a giant Z on the wall. His whole the whole mats on the the mats on the ring are all Zeus. I thought, they, I thought they did too, but no, that was Zeus's right. They're all they're all Hulk posters or it, Rip posters because yeah. Zeus is sitting there going like, I hate him. "Is it the same I place?" Him. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, so I that's thought, why he's tearing all the shit up. I thought so too when we were watching it, but now that they're saying that, it it's makes Zeus's more sense. Gym. Yeah, yeah. You're inside <laughs> the mind of Zeus. In yeah, that room. exactly. Yep. And it, yeah. the floor mats on the ring were all said Zeus and all that stuff. And yeah, yep. I was confused too, but it makes sense now because uh, Zeus I, just exists to kill Rip. Yeah, you're never, never, never going to go back and watch it. Never going to go back and watch it. I'll never know. Uh, so this ultimately leads to the grand finale. Is there an uh, a, a, uh, a real one? A match of the it's tough guys that takes place. Well, should where we everybody... talk about when when uh when Rip checks in with Randy at the hospital? I don't know. Uh, we should. It's yeah. the most emotional. Scene yeah, it's, oh, it's his yeah, Brian right. song moment. Yeah, it's his Oscar moment. He gets to cry. He gets to hold Brandy's hand saying he promises he'll avenge him. Which really shows you that anybody can act if uh, given the right circumstances. I think. <laughs> if to have enough mental yeah, stick yeah, given the right eye drops. Yeah. Tears were streaming down his face. <laughs> oh, I believe can, he did it for real. Easily be faked. Yeah, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Yeah. He, I, I'll how give him many the takes of the it? doubt. No, right. but yeah, but no, but if you rub menthol, like this is what they do in a lot of movies. You ever see a movie where like someone's crying, their eyes are super red? It's because they take menthol stick and yeah. they rub it right yeah. on your eyelid, yeah. and that makes you cry uncontrollably. It's always yeah. when like the tears come from the middle of the eye. Don't tears come from the side? Right. Tears yeah, come middle from is the, when it right drops. Yeah. That's when it yeah. drops. Yeah. Yeah. Is when it's like when it's coming right down the middle. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But menthol sticks, they just like burn your eyeballs and make you cry. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like that, that looks more natural, but it also makes your eyes super red. I'll give this benefit of the doubt for this one. It was a touch. I, I believe Hulk got to squeeze him out. I feel like Tender he had a hard scene. time remembering his name was Rip, so I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a hard. Everyone, I, felt, I, think everyone, I was Rip. almost in tears with him. It was so powerful you, and moving. Jesus. Yeah, he wasn't. Okay, uh, so it leads to the finale when uh, all these guys in suits are at this televised event where Rip is going to meet Zeus and fight him. 
And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it. Uh, and then he does. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it does. And, and it's really and slow. Then it, goes it happens on too really long. slowly. And then it goes on way too long. Because there's no good wrestling moves in no, it. None. 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 I no, wanted, it, like, yeah. wrestling. They're just yeah. punching each other for 15 and at one point, minutes. At one point, he picks up. I was like, oh, we're going to get a pile driver? No. He just, like, kind of tosses Nothing. him. Nothing. Nothing. And they had Nothing. these moves at that time because yeah. we know this through the uh, the video evidence of the WrestleMania tapes. Yeah, they had all the moves. Okay. Yeah. They could put DDT that motherfucker. Yeah. They just didn't do it in this movie. Didn't do it. Because no. Because stunt coordinator Nothing. Buck Privates or whatever the hell his name was. Buck Privates. <laughs> uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, it's it Buck Privates Buck, now. It's Buck something. Chester Buck Dancer. Buck McDancer. Buck McDancer. Buck McDancer. Buck McDancer. We, yeah, we noticed that in the credits. I'm checking into hotels under Buck McDancer. That's amazing. They have a room for McDancer. Yeah. Buck McDancer. His name Buck. Uh... It's uh, yeah. I was more it's, distracted it's, by the fact that everyone in the crowd was in formal wear. That's yeah. what I was watching. Don't you in that get scene. dressed up when you go to see a fight? As I've said, I've never yeah. watched wrestling. This is the most wrestling I've ever seen in my life. Is this nobody movie. really? Yes. I'll tell you, so you nobody still nobody haven't seen like it? Yes. Wait, what yeah. the hell? Nobody ever dresses like that to no. watch wrestling. I'll tell they you they wear t shirts to say Austin three sixteen. Yeah, no, that's. I assumed that it was yeah. all like you, like you would wear your dude's colors. You right. know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's very much that. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold says so. We've that's reached the end of Collins knowledge. He had one. Yeah. Do you, he spent do you want it. to give us a little smell what the rock is cooking? Does that make yeah. you feel better? Can you yeah. smell? No, nope, you got it wrong already. <laughs> it's wrong already. I remember, but not that well. Do it. It's uh, if you smell what the rock is cooking. It's, yeah. Okay. It's not, a good I'm effort, not, though. Yeah, problem, good problem. effort. <laughs> Thank you very much. It. What was who was the guy who was like something brother? Was it Hulk Hogan? That's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus. Oh What's my God. the line? Yeah. Brother, he like he just said his brother, 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 brother all the time. Yeah. What you gonna do, brother? Right, that was his thing. <laughs> what right? you gonna do yeah. when Hulkamania okay. runs wild on you? <laughs> That's I like that Sean's doing the arm <laughs> gestures. I know, but they can't see it at home. But I'm telling you <laughs> that it's doing happening. The arm gestures, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, snap into a slim gym, but that's uh, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. wasn't that thing. Macho Man? Yes, that's Macho Man. Yeah. yeah. See, oh, I know yeah. something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you want to do a little Ric Flair? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> what else? We got anything else? I have walked by all of these people at conventions and just did not care because it was not my thing. I've been yep. in the room, all of these people, and yeah. just knew nothing yeah. about it. Yep. Uh, I'm kind of shocked that uh, that you picked this movie. That are you like? Uh, it's oh, just it's an because anomaly? I stumbled upon it. Yeah. And I was like, well, because I was I was channel flipping once and I saw Kurt Fuller and I assumed it was Wayne's World because like that's how I know him mm-hmm. and he's great in that movie and I love that movie so i kind of like hung around and i was like that's when i saw the check i won't be there when that clears scene and i was like what <laughs> is you got it this? early yeah. so you watch the rest of the movie yeah. and, and then boy. i was like i was like this like i feel like hulk hogan was looking at cue cards for this whole movie like I, he, he's a terrible the actor that he he's spoke, a the terrible actor he said in this movie and like I said, yeah. I feel like he struggled to be like, I'm Rip, I'm Rip. My Rip, name's Rip, not Hulk, Rip, my name's Rip. Rip. Like, I feel like that was just, not just for him, but there it was were many for everyone. Like, Vince, why can't I just use Hulk? Why can't we yeah. just do Hulk? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it would have been more profitable if he had just been Hulk. Yeah, you know, I think it probably would have. Mm-hmm. Is he Hulk in uh, Suburban Commando? No, he's no, because he's an alien, right? Yeah, he's, he's a dude from another planet. And Mr. Nanny, he's a security guard. Yeah. I was so. frozen today. Mm-hmm. I bring you an extra bar of soap when you need it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, it's my Christopher Lloyd. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'm curious to hear Michaela's wrap up because she's going to tell us about this outsider perspective to the world of wrestling <laughs> and what so. this movie has made her think of wrestling. <laughs> Wait, who uh, won? Who won this? Did they oh, Hulk well, Zeus well, obviously. Zeus it's fucking just... tears Hulk's Rip wins, head off. excuse me. Rip. I'm sorry. Rip, oh, yeah. wins. Rip, wins. Rip wins. Okay, fine. I'm lying. He wears different colors, okay? His shirts say rip him. <laughs> 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 That's how you know he's different. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know it's His very personality exciting. is definitely exactly the same, but and he fucking straight up murders Kurt Foley. That's not true. Is this that was the end, right? He's just like, huh. Yeah. Oh, he does his shaka hand gesture. This freeze yeah. frame. We get yeah, a freeze yeah. frame, and then we're out. Oh yeah, Kurt yeah. Fuller gets electrocuted. It's awesome. Oh right, Kurt Fuller yeah. gets electrocuted and dies yeah. in this movie. <laughs> God damn it! As he's trying to pull the broadcast off the air. That's yeah. the only thing we can understand that he was doing because right. the sign said, you know, no signal available. Yeah, right. right. So he's just as he's to disassembling like, no, the studio because lose. he's hulking out at that yeah, point. Yeah, he is hulking out. It is a good like 
dynamic. There should have been split screen at this point. Yeah, him yeah. beating up fucking Zeus and him ripping apart the studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that would have been better. I did not see him dying. I didn't see that. I coming. didn't see it either. Like <laughs> that's a great like, way whoa. to go. Yeah. But I didn't see it coming. No. So everyone around this table except for me has worked at it worked in TV at one point or another. Yes. This is what it's like, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 All yeah. your yeah. bosses yeah. were like Kurt yeah. Fuller yeah. screaming yeah. at you. Yeah, five Constantly. people died when I was there. Yeah. All <laughs> electrocuted. <laughs> it's weird did, that it happens did it, so often. Did you, did you ever get told to take a leak? <laughs> uh, daily. Uh, you know what? Earlier this year, I kind of did. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> I did. You yeah. know what, Sean? So did I. Yeah. There it is. All got told to take a leak. <laughs> You like, didn't have you, no, no, yours, yours was take a leak. Mine was, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take a leak. <laughs> you're going to have to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technically, I got told, I'm sorry, you're going to take a leak, too. So, you're you know. Take <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're going to have to force you to take a leak. Yeah. Mine, yeah. mine was technically, you need to tell me to take a leak. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what mine was. <laughs> oh. Wow. And mine was, I'm really God. sorry, but we can't afford you anymore, so please so take a leak on your way out. Players. Laid off. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah laid off. Okay. Thank you very much. Gone to a very, very My dark job is place. better now. Thanks. <laughs> All our jobs are better. Well, Everybody's much happier. Oh, we're getting well, there. Well, we're getting well, there. Well, uh, <laughs> one by it's, one. Hey, it's working its way around the table, okay? It really is. It's the it follows monster of this <laughs> table. It's true. Uh, All right, so yeah, that's it. I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> it's we're going to do what we do every week. We're going to uh, read some of your mail, answer some of your mail, and uh, then we're going to talk about this movie a little bit more. You're going to find out what each of us thought about it, uh, our own opinions. Does this movie go down for the count? Or does it stand victorious as the champion? I'm sorry. That's awesome. You need need to do the let's get ready to rumble. Is that? No. no, no, What's that guy's name? Michael Buffett. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've worked like a lot of shit, wrestling shit into this. Oh, yeah. Surprise. There's what an original, original song in this movie, too. Died. Oh, yeah. yeah. Michael yeah. Buffett? Yeah. He's alive. Is he? He's not dead. Who am I thinking is dead? There's a lot of people that are dead. You're yeah. saying an yeah. announcer's? I feel. I felt like one of the announcers was dead. I don't know. The Fink's in this. He's alive. Guys, there was an original oh. song in this movie. That's oh, fantastic. Sure. Can you sing it's it for no us? No holds barred. That's, 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 that's it. Like, to like yeah. 80s awesomeness. With like and backup chorus. singers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's no a, holds barred. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're standing alone in the. Yeah, it's something like that. It's just like, <laughs> like Meat Love singing the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for Bob Seeger. It wasn't coming across. Okay. Uh, they nope. needed whatever the guy, uh, Lion, the Lion or whatever, did. Baby, you know. baby. Wraith. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. He's got a rip up shirt on. He came prepared. He's got a dragon sound. I was going to say he's yeah. all greased up, but he usually is. So yeah, he's always no greased different. up. Yeah. That's no different. Mm-hmm. He's secreting things. But the mullet is not a good look. No. We're just no. saying that, like, no. in general. Well, that, his isn't know. silky. So. No, it's, like, scraggly. Yeah. Kinda. Mm-hmm. Matted. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. He is matted. <laughs> get a haircut, hippie. Well, let's tell the folks at home how they can get a hold of us and join in in all the fun. We'd love to hear from you. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can get a hold of us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. I'm sure we're still doing the uh, highlight things. Yes. Whatever the, yep. All yes. right. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. I got the dookie scene in this oh, one. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, Christ. <laughs> ah. I hate. <laughs> you guys are all so uncomfortable. I was so entertained by oh, that. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, okay, can no. I, I just, I have to say, that is like my least favorite word in the entire Dookie? universe. Dookie? Even when I was a kid in, in the 90s Dookie. when it was like a thing, I Dookie. fucking hated it. Hate it. What, what hit should I, he have oh. said? They Nothing. Should, they not, shouldn't have had that it, fucking right, scene. Right, I agree. It shouldn't <laughs> have been God, no. What? You need to have a person shat their pants at yeah, some point. What? Shat. That smell. Liquidy <laughs> shat in their pants. Oh, yeah. but, it was really liquidy because yeah, he was, was so really far up like, his back. Yeah. They added the sound effect when he's patting his ass. Yeah. Just, God damn it. <laughs> I hate that uh, word. Twelve year olds, I'm sure, everywhere yeah. love this movie. Okay, so uh, first of <laughs> <And> all, ah, <me. laughs> <laughs> oh, Achilles, such a twelve year old boy. <laughs> all right, so uh, Johnny, New Jersey, writes in, 
And he says, uh, I wanted to write in this time to say thank you to all of you for making me enjoy movies again. Listening to the podcast for the past year and catching up on all the shows has been really fun and a really bright spot as it seems just like a fun time with your friends as you talk movies. Now, along with the help of free movie apps, I've been loving going down your catalog and seeing any movie I may have missed. My table of hosts I want to hear talk about movies include Gilbert Gottfried, Rhonda Shear, Sven Gulli, Elvira, Joe Bob, and now you guys. Oh, thanks. thanks. What an honor. Pretty good that's awesome. yeah. in the same sentence as those yeah. Wait, did he mention Rhonda That's Shear? awesome. Did he, he did. That? Yeah. He did. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Rhonda that's so Shear. cool. Yeah. We love all, all those people. So We do. Yeah. Yep. So thanks for writing in. We did read the longer version. Yes, uh, yes we did. We did, and we appreciate all yes. of your kind words. Yes, it's very, very sweet. Nice. And your notes to all of us. Very kind. Very kind. So about uh, tonight's movie, No Holds Barred. Uh, karate. I think some holds were barred. I just, I <laughs> like think what? It feels like, I don't know. The any hold. Suplex. There were no holds there was in this no, movie. There was no it suplex. feels like they were all barred no, yeah. except like the double axe handle. Oh. Yeah. It's just me. Uh, Karate Warrior 2 writes in and says, I tried to watch this and tapped out in 24 minutes. And I'm a wrestling fan. Yeah. Well, that has nothing to do with this movie. So. Well, it really doesn't. <laughs> he is a wrestling fan. Yes. He is a wrestling fan. Yes, so, yes. yes. so he yes, saw he Dookie and Check Clear. Yeah. And that's and about like, it. Yeah. Well, you know says, what? I don't blame him for checking out at that point. <laughs> I really don't. Bravo, sir. Well, he says, uh, this is this is the kind of stuff that proves that McMahon might be a genius, that's in quotes, in the wrestling world, but flounders outside of it, his rating. Eternal yeah. World Heavyweight Film Dookie Champion. Yeah. <laughs> and he says Severance's, Joan Severance's eyes couldn't save this trash. She has very nice uh, she has yeah, very she pretty eyes. eyes. Yeah. Very pretty eyes. Yeah. Uh, Nick Hammond writes in and says, I'm not going to lie. This was my jam back in the day as I was a wrestling you nut. You should lie. I took my vitamins <laughs> and I said my prayers just like Hulkamania prescribed. <laughs> Oh, um, well, good. <laughs> Those pairs help you, I hope. Nick Siebel writes in and says, I love this movie as a kid. Zeus was a beast. I remember he and Hogan even had a match for SummerSlam that yeah. year. SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a word called recognized. Oh, my so God. like, oh, I know SummerSlam. He says, it's an awesome throwback to my childhood when the WWF ruled. I've actually passed on the WWF tradition of my four-year-old. He is now a passionate fan, as I was when I was his age. It can be fun. Oh, yeah. uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, well... I've experienced Mr. Nanny and Suburban Commando. Oh, my <laughs> God. Suburban have. Commando. There may be a future Freak Fest film. Warning. Have self-soothing drink or food on standby. Watching <laughs> this do. film may cause viewers to uncontrollably yell, what the fuck? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. Did that for sure. Uh, about our past episode, Miami Connection, mm. MF Mad writes in. And he says, Friends Forever is now stuck in my head and repeat. Yeah, it's a great song, though. I mean, there are worse songs. For eternity, something <laughs> eternity. Okay. Uh, about our episode, My Soul to Take, Andrew John writes in and says, This has been one of my favorite episodes. It's hilarious. My <laughs> wife and I were laughing so hard. Halfway through the podcast, we stopped and popped the movie in. Aww. And after oh, you don't. read... <laughs> it's too late. This has Sorry, already happened. Did we do that? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or we're, we're sorry. We that caused he, that we, to happen. We caused him to yeah. pop the movie in. Because if you get to the end of the episode, spoiler. I guess. Oh, well, I, I mean, you know? I guess if it uh, if it helps your enjoyment of the podcast, yeah. go for it. Yeah. Well, we read his uh, message on it because he said that he dug the movie on our podcast. Right, right, we asked right. when was the last time he watched it, right. and he said, "Oh, we called him did. out." Yeah, <laughs> he <laughs> said he's, he just watched it. Yeah, and he still and he still it. likes he watched it. it in yes, real time. I that. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, well, H, bravo, sir. Stick to your guns, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, HP writes in and says, Colin, the Wes Craven book you mentioned actually does go into his early life and how his upbringing impacts some of his work. And oh. Wes is pretty open about it when asked. I was very interested in this part of him, too. Nice. And felt the book was very insightful and also really good. What is this book? Yeah, I want to it's read like it. It's like Wes curious. Craven, A Man in His Nightmares or something. Oh, yeah, I may yeah, be yeah, saying yeah. the title wrong. I'm not sure. some, it's something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've heard of this. Uh, Mark Harrison writes in and says, I was up, gifted Mark? this movie on DVD. My Soul to Take, uh, that is, right? Yeah, yep. Yes. That's what we're talking about. One okay. watch was enough. Who hates yeah. you? 
That's too Why much. does someone yeah, hate you that much? Like, who will look at you and said, you'd like this movie? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. cut that person what? out of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was the other guy that we just read yeah. his comments. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, Mark, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> All right, so uh, Amos Martinez writes in. He's not writing it about my soul to take. He's talking about Halloween because we've been kind of uh, having oh, yeah, an yeah, ongoing yeah. Uh, conversation That's with Sean and I will talk about that for the rest of time. So <laughs> Amos made, if you remember, mm-hmm. on I think the last episode, mm-hmm. a shocking uh, confession that he believes that Halloween season of the three, witch. Yeah. I feel like it's to right. get a reaction out of us. I almost yeah. feel like he doesn't believe that. I feel yeah. like he wants to hurt me. I think. <laughs> I think this might be. I think this is our general reaction. Anybody who puts Halloween three at the top of their list is just like, I don't think it gets you, worse. Sean, Sean, I Sean, yeah. it gets worse. You. Well, we said that you know we him. were like, well, you you'd like Halloween three, but you like Halloween one over that. He says, mm. no, no. I'm number so- one, he likes Halloween season three, season of which number one in the franchise. I don't think you number like two, uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween two. Number you three, definitely don't like Halloween. Uh, Halloween two, nineteen eighty one, and then ha- Rob Zombie's Halloween, then Halloween. And the original's and, um, like what number five in his uh, list? Number five in his list. Yeah, is the no, original. No, followed no. by Halloween uh, the new one, and then the other sequels. I feel he like says, that's trying to test yeah, me. I feel like that is a test. So for to me. sum up his his comment, he doesn't like Halloween. Well, yeah. here's he doesn't what like he says the franchise. To say. He says, it's funny that my two favorites are almost universally hated by most fans. I grew up with three, and it's always really horrified me, particularly the screen with the kid's head melting. And Zombies Halloween 2. I've also had a big fear of Stonehenge. I really do like (laughs) Zombies Halloween 2. I really do. Well, he says, Zombies Halloween 2 is a nihilistic head fuck nightmare that I think is largely misunderstood, and it's a masterpiece in the same way that Eraserhead is. Both of these have a serious sense of dread that I don't think Carpenter had in the original. The original's great. Don't get me wrong. But I think he's been outdone in the series multiple times. My top six recommends easily. No, my top six are all recommends easily, but those films in the middle are garbage. Some of them are decent slasher movies. Uh, but uh, how great the rest of these are that make them look so much worse. I'd love to hear what you guys have See, to say. You, you, say, you say, don't get me wrong, it's great, but you put it at number five. Uh, if you write in Five. again, if yeah, you write in again, that the middle ones are so bad. So I'm assuming he's got the. So gold. after I, I'm after number five, it's a free for all. Yeah, is what he's yeah. saying, basically. I think, but yeah. uh, if you write in again, head fuck nightmare is going to be the name we give to you. <laughs> I, so. I mean, Damn, it's I mean, personal now. I kind of I like write to me about <laughs> Halloween. Nightmare writes no, in. Uh, Rob, Rob Zombie's Halloween too. I really, I'll go to bat for that movie. Like I actually, I really like that one, but I would still not put it in number two. I think when we do our rankings, I had like like number six. So like even still, I really like it, and still it was like middle. So yeah, yeah. But I you mean, uh, Halloween always it's gonna rate a high on any list because that's the one that fucking planted the flag. Exactly. I mean, yeah. It's like you know, have movies become more sophisticated since? I mean, like yeah, that's why people say it's that an they, unfair comparison. Yeah, yeah. you can't. Yeah. Right, you yeah. can't yeah. imagine you can. what it right. was like before that movie existed. Yeah. Right now, because mm-hmm. it's been around forever. And it, with the Halloween movies, I think more than most horror franchises your nostalgia and how old you were when you saw the movies plays into it a lot more you know um a lot of people halloween 3 they saw it when they were kids and they that's why they love it you know that was not the case for me so you know very true Uh, yeah i didn't come to halloween 3 until like way later yeah Mm -hmm. and you're like what the fuck is this like me yeah uh, yeah Like so, Tom Atkins, I love you, but yeah, I may nah. still uh, continue yeah. to, <laughs> yeah. try nah, and view dog. It, to view it as a separate film. Mm-hmm. As a, so I'll, I'll, you know, it's got a good score. I'll, I'll put it in and be like, <sighs> it I watched still it, sucks. I watched I like it, this movie. I watched it twice <laughs> last month, yeah. and it's got Tom mm-hmm. Atkins. You know, a woman gets her face ripped out. And yeah, there's a lot. Of but there's stuff. so much. Nothing happens in between all of Stonehenge that. Stonehenge kills everybody at the end. Yeah. And it's really not. I don't know. That's we did a whole podcast. That's true. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we should do right. another one. No. So now we're moving on to <laughs> no holds barred tonight's film. So we're gonna go around the room, tell you what we thought about it. We're gonna start with uh, uh, Colin. Oh Jesus! <laughs> that of, was not very enthusiastic. I know. Colin. Lethargic. Uh, okay. Um, Colin, what did you yourself think about this sports entertainment movie? No, All right, so I mean, as a movie, it's uh, I mean, we're going through the technical movie, credit, uh, the technical experience. credits of the movie, right? It's like it's, uh, I guess I grade movies on how well they're made. This one's made pretty poorly. Sure will. Uh, it does have a consistent tone. I give it that. It does have a consistent tone. I can say, <laughs> right? Congratulations. It's bad from front to back. Yeah. 
I just uh, don't see the appeal of uh, Hulk Hogan as a person, or you know, <laughs> I mean, like, because as a person, well, as a, as a person, person, ouch! Oh, yeah. You got it down to the base, like I, as like, a person. Yeah, I understand that other people do. I don't have any kind of connection to this person or the character, right? Or, I don't care. Sure. And so watching this is like, okay, you know, it's it's weird because the flip side of this, I suppose, is like Schwarzenegger. He's another guy who's built like this and did action movies. And it was not a non-actor to begin with. You know, he was a muscle, uh, whatever, pumping iron guy. Uh, but I liked the movies that he was in and the characters that he played. I'll have Terminator and all in that. Comparison, in comparison. In comparison. can act. Yeah, and he became an actor. Which, like, shouldn't shouldn't Rip be able to act? Because, like, isn't wrestling half acting, right? Yeah. 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 You know, so but shouldn't he be good like, at it? This movie came out kinda. still in, in the era where that shit was played off as real. It's even played off as real in the movie. Yeah, but like that shouldn't. Still, he's acting. Either way, he's but it's acting. Over, but so but like, he is. But he's. Yeah, but, but he. His acting in the movie is exactly what he's doing in say, the ring. Yeah, it's so. Goofy, it's the so why thing. doesn't it work it's on the, film? Uh, because but you're it's close the same, up. Uh, he, yeah, he's got the these big, uh, big gestures, big facial expressions. I get that, but what's emotions? the difference between this and watching like a wrestling broadcast? And why does it not work in this movie? I guess is what, well, that's I'm what we're saying. saying. Like, yeah, it is the same. There's no difference. Yeah. So why time. is that a problem? Because he was so successful at doing that. So why is it a problem? In this because movie? they know that. Uh, no, but, but the format is different. Film yeah. is different than a live, you know, thing. It's like mm-hmm. when you're taking a narrative, we're accustomed to seeing things done a certain way. He's got to do that to be of, seen by the guy who's who, yeah. hundred rows back. He's yeah. got to make that face. Yeah, and if this he does one, it we're live, like, right there. Yeah, yeah. and we're you don't like, do it that way. Everything's a lot. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like watching a stage actor project. Mm-hmm. To his audience in a movie, and right. you're like, "Wow, Which that guy is do. overacting." Yeah. It's like, well, that's what Hulk did. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, I don't know. I was just, uh, I mean, it's amusing to watch just for how goofy it is. Uh, you know, I mean, again, I was like so bored by it that I was actually, you know, because I mean, the fighting is like, you know, it's funny only because it's stupid. Uh, I mean, that's, a, I guess, the thing. It's a colossally stupid movie. Uh, it's <laughs> a not colossally stupid, colossally movie. stupid movie. That's, that's uh, the pull quote on the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess it's it's like well, comma it's a colossally stupid movie. <laughs> Colin Clark. <laughs> if I can have that uh, yeah, on right? the next edition, put that Vince on McMahon, you let me because know. Because you know what? That will draw people to watch right. this movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're not wrong. Oh, right. No one's yeah, expecting right, high art. No, not no. at all. Podcast even for low art here. though. So I'm trying to influence you against watching this movie. Um, I mean. You know, I was trying to entertain myself by looking at it as like, you know, it's like, oh, okay, these guys represent these different factions of power, money, you know, having, and this guy's, mm, and, uh, power. You're yeah, to, you're going too deep, man. I know I was going <laughs> because I was so bored is because there's nothing really to hang on to. This is a movie full of cliches and yeah. all this stuff. So it was just kind of like, uh, and it's not well done in any kind of way. And it's not, uh, I mean, it's bad, but it's not like Miami connection bad. Right. Like, I just didn't have fun with it. Yeah. I guess maybe yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, thing. Yeah. But I think part of that is because I really don't care about the subject matter. You know, that might be it. I like ninjas and fucking cops uh, fighting. There were, were there cops in that? There wasn't. There was ninja schools. Whatever. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> drug Go back and listen see to our, our episode. Yeah, see yeah. our previous episode. Whatever. That whole thing <laughs> more appealing than the world of uh, wrestling or kumite or whatever. Uh, <laughs> That's right. I'm pulling that back. So <laughs> I would say pass on no holds barred. I actually, for some reason, I do recommend Beyond the Mat though, which is a movie about a documentary. That's, no, that's about, a fascinating. That's a good. I would, yeah, that's yeah, a fascinating. Yeah, because movie. I guess there's people in there, and that's what's oh, interesting yeah. about it: the egos and the things that they go through, and they make them human. And the wrestler with uh, Mickey Rourke, obviously. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. That's, film. that's a great. That's great a movie. great movie. Yeah. I mean, yep. I get that they're yeah. completely different than this, and the audiences right. are different, the expectations yes. different. This one was just like. Pfft, yeah, but still, that's like Aronofsky. Uh, maybe it is prime. Like, mm-hmm. so watch it. Yeah, yeah. He wears scarves now, so <laughs> well, <laughs> he's a pretentious so, asshole right, now. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that was probably him at his prime. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I will say, uh, Dom, I did not walk out. I know that was predicted. I didn't walk out. He did he not walk out. Yeah. 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 which I think has already happened. He said yeah. I was going to walk out. No, 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 no. You don't know me, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking? You've been shouting. You have been screaming. Episode. Yeah. He was right on the money. All right, Holly, what did you think? Um, yeah, I'm I'm in total agreement with you, Colin. I I f- this movie is definitely a 
cash grab product of its time for sure. Um, it's it's reaching for an audience that I don't think it really understands um, because it doesn't tran- like we said it doesn't translate to film at all. Um, honestly, the what really I think what really gets me about this movie is it's so fucking immature. This movie is isn't that wrestling though? Like, isn't wrestling kind of an immature thing in general? It is, but I mean, I, well, and you know, with that, with that notion, I wouldn't watch wrestling now. So, but at, in '89, well, yeah, but in '89, I was four years old. So, right, but that's when this came out, though. So it's like it's hitting that same stride of the time. Well, I, I think that's what I'm saying is like, I there's an audience for this movie, and I think it's twelve year old boys. I think that's that's who it's appealing to. There's a group of 12-year-old boys somewhere who's just like, fuck, man, everyone's bagging on us. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the group that immature movies get the released for 12-year-old boys. Yeah, so they're, yeah. And they're just going, you know, we like some good shit, too. I watched The Tree of Life, okay? Right. Yeah. Terrence Malick is a great yeah. filmmaker. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I apologize to all 12-year-old boys with taste, okay? Right, there you go. Yeah, but now they're all 30 years old going like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I was 12 when I saw it. But yeah. no, ex- that's that's exactly like if Because I watched this movie with my brother, because he's the reason I watched wrestling when I was a kid. And I guarantee if if he watched this now, he would have the same thoughts that I do. Like, we're just, we've outgrown it. It's, there's a specific humor that doesn't appeal to us. The, there's no filmmaking skills whatsoever in this movie. Like, it's not made, it's, it's not made for an audience. It's not made for a modern day audience. A product of its time. It's made for that audience, young people watching wrestling in 1989. Okay, but for now, it, it it did nothing for me. I was bored, and I, yeah, I I kind of hated everything about it. So I'm gonna have to say no on no holds barred, John. Um, yeah, I think I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> um, I I really I just. Just it's it's gross. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. It's I didn't enjoy watching it. Uh, I don't like any of the characters. It it was boring. I'm like there's not there's not a wrestling move in this movie. Like I I'm a fan. I was I was a fan of wrestling, and I still would get that enjoyment out of seeing like something done well. But there's it's just there's nothing in this movie. Um, blah. Blah. I really don't like this movie. I don't like any of the characters in it. It's fucking. There's some. I, I. I'll give it. There's some moments with fucking Hulk where it's just like, oh my god. But uh, you get a few things. But other than that, nah. No. No way. Uh, I. 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 I do not recommend this. It's not. And like Colin said, like I'm trying to do my best to dissuade you from watching this movie. There's. It's not good. It's so bad. It's good. It's just like don't mm-hmm. watch this movie. Yeah. You, there's nothing. There's nothing for you. Uh yeah oh pass on no holds barred. <laughs> Michaela, why? It's it so it's not so bad. It's good even though a guy shits his pants. A guy gets a check shoved down his throat. There's a dog chained up in a bathroom with a stall that says VD room. None of these the, qualify for the, so bad. It's good for you. The dog was okay, but the rest of it I hated. But the, like that doesn't mean it's not so bad. It's good though, just because you didn't care for it. Like for me personally, it's not it's, so bad. It's good. Like, I can't say that. I'm. I don't know what anyone I mean, else thinks. But maybe for me it's just personally, because I don't know anything about wrestling. I, I've never watched wrestling. But for me, this movie's fucking insane. It's fucking bonkers. <laughs> like for me, this movie like lives in a plane that normal human beings do not live in. And. That to me, I can't like, disagree with you on that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah. like that to me, it's like it's like visiting another planet watching this fucking movie. I can't imagine an America in which this this happens. I really can't. Uh, it it's got some insane moments. I mean, most of which happen within the first thirty minutes. So it like you get the dookie scene, you get the you get the check shoving down the throat, the fucking take a leak. That's all right in the first <laughs> act. It's it's amazing. Kurt Fuller is. Is really going at it, <laughs> like, yeah. like he, it was he's going he be, for it. Yeah, he would be the thing that you would recommend out of this movie. Yeah, like, he's going at he's it. Dedicated, yeah. like, yeah. like, like I said, I love him in Wayne's World, but like he's so subdued in Wayne's World compared to his performance in this. Mm. Movie. Uh, compared yeah. to this, he's yeah. subdued in everything. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. going it's for wild. It. Uh, this movie, like I said, it's just I've never seen anything like this movie before. Like Bloodsport is a 
weird movie, but in a completely different way, um, in a much more low budget this way, much more low budget way. This movie was eight million dollars, so it wasn't cheap. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I kind of dig it for like the spectacle that it is. Like, it's it's slow. It's got some really slow parts, but then you get into jerking off push ups out of nowhere. You know, so like just when you think that like it's hit a lull it hits like a weird familiar note you've seen in like sitcoms before but in a more gross way just when you think it's hit it's hit a lull yeah it's a low yeah that's that should be the the quote Um, for this movie i mean i honestly thought you guys would enjoy it more than me because you all are so familiar with Uh, wrestling i'm really not sure why you didn't like it i think you need to check out this show called monday night raw but i have no interest in that that's the thing though you say that but you like this movie but i've gone 28 years of my life without ever watching wrestling i don't think it's gonna like and I, I really think that's the line that is drawn. I think the more you've experienced actual the wrestling that this all comes from, the less you like it. this. I think that yeah. is the line. It the, appears yeah. to wrestling me, so. is not what interests me. It's the weird choices that but, are well, that's, 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 that's that's episode. Of that's it's actual wrestling. Weird. Yeah. The wrestling is is like sidebar to the weird choices they've made yeah. storylines for wrestling. Yeah. The story choices are what right. interests no, me about that. like yeah. like why did why do they go on the the overnight trip? Like that's never explained as to why. Why they go wrestling. on that? <laughs> you would do that. You, you would love it. Yeah. Like, like, I just, I have so many questions in this movie that will never be answered. I would recommend it because I think I've never seen a movie like this, and I don't think I'll ever see another movie like this. I've seen Mr. Nanny. I've seen Suburban Commando. They're very different movies. Ready to rumble. Very true. No, uh, but Mr. Nanny is not. That's fun. a good movie. It is. Yeah, I, I. This is so different from those two, and so I would recommend it. There you right. go. There it is. Awesome. Uh, so that means that uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie chosen by Colin. Colin. Well, for us, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, so shit. we're going to watch a movie that's made. Uh, it's about families. Huh? Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know. I wish there was a movie. Thanksgiving. Like about that trailer. Like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Are we watching Thanks Killing? Is it like a, I own that if you want to watch it. No. Is it not like a killer? Like it's the turkey, a trauma is the movie. Killer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's I was going to say good. killer turkey, it but is that not sounds good. maybe wrong. Um, so we're going to watch a movie about a young woman. She's a high school uh, se- uh, honor student by day and a Hollywood hooker by night. We're watching Angel from 1983. Oh. You guys are going to love it, I'm sure. That's oh. next week <laughs> on the set. Oh. I don't know Angel. anything about this. So, so. I have no how, idea what yeah, this movie how is. How does that tie to Thanksgiving? It's all about family. Uh, you got to watch it. Right. It's gonna, right. yeah. Is this related to the family. TV series Angel at no. all or no? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Like, everybody's forgotten about this. This is a trash classic. I've literally Ooh, never heard of this trash movie. Classic. Yeah. Never heard of it. yeah, I know nothing about this. And never we're going to put somebody on the wall of fame also with this. So Ooh. tune in next week for uh, Angel on Saturday Night Freak Show. Mm-hmm. And until then, the basement is going dark.